Um, I feel like there's so many new faces here, I should have an introduction to myself. So this poem is called, Some Useless Shit You Should Know About Me. I'm sure most of you know me, but if you don't, my name is Lucas. I'm 18 years old, I really like sweet tea, and I'm a sucker for love poems. I'm 6'2", if I try hard enough, and I am boy. Built of stone, set in concrete tongue, built of broken bottled dreams. Everything I've ever broken was fixed by the stitching in my notebook. I've tattooed names onto my lips that I can still taste when I swallow my own pride. See, I promised myself I would never do drugs, and now I'm addicted to a drug that will never love back. But I won't tell you what her name is. Sometimes I pray to gods that I don't believe in because maybe I just hope one of them believes in me. And I spend way too much time alone. But sometimes I dance with my pen and we create something that I can present as my own blood. And it's really hard to be a king when you've been stripped of your own crown and your throne highly resembles a headstone. I've been playing hide and seek with my emotions and I'm damn good at it. Well, the hiding part, but sometimes I stand in front of a microphone and imagine all the words I say are given to the moon and then thrown across the sky like ripped up yellow dictionary pages turned to stars. I've never been afraid before, except for the first time that I realized my tongue is a storm. Natural disaster rests in my throat and I'm drowning in my own overthinking. And I can't remember the last time I checked my pockets because sometimes I'm worried I'll find the truth to myself in the contents. And I haven't spoken in a while. Because I'm worried I'll find the truth to myself in the content. So I hold my words underneath my tongue. Like a hurricane in waiting. And she once told me that I was stubborn. But maybe I just want my words to be heard. Maybe I've been drowned out so long that I feel like my words are a closed book. So full of story, just so undiscovered. And sometimes I let my words fall from my gums and rest on my teeth. Or rest on my lips. So every time she kisses me, she'll taste a drawn arrow shot into her taste buds. See, these are my words, baby. And she tells me they taste of pine, or flower, or leaf, or drugs, or blood, or sorrow, or song, or of younger tongue, or she can't decide. But I know that you can't find them anywhere else. But dug up and dipped in tidal waves of saliva, these are my words, baby. See, I haven't told the truth in a while. And I'm worried that I forgot the truth to myself. But truth is, since the age of 10, I have been afraid to speak. I fear that my words might show my truths. But no longer. This is me. And truth is, these are my words, baby.